Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Harold's Two Cents. Hope everybody enjoyed this past weekend's edition of Midnight Mayhem. And yes, Aaron Varnum, to answer your question, I do know my wrestling history. And yes, I do know who Haystacks Calhoun is. He's that really, really big guy who got his ass beat by Bruno San Martino. Didn't think I was going to say that, did you? Didn't think I knew that, huh? But anyway, let's go to uh, what happened this past weekend's edition of Midnight Mayhem. Last weekend, excuse me. See, first matchup, well before we get to that, Aaron Varnum. What, are you taking styling tips from Xavier Rush again? I mean, you see what happened to your boy Brock Knox. And now, and see now, you're listening to Xavier Rush, and you're still seeing ghosts. But then again, Xavier Rush, since I'm on that subject, you know, you should fire your stylist. You should really fire your stylist. See, now you done got Aaron from looking like 1010 to now... He's looking like Chef Gordon Ramsay from Hell's Kitchen. Jesus. I swear, son. But anyway, first matchup featuring Picture Perfect Xavier Rush, or as I like to call him, Picture Unperfect Xavier Rush, going against the Pembroke Pitbull, my boy Baron Bullard. You know, all I can say is great match all the way, but Xavier Rush being as picture unperfect as he is see he's got to resort to those dirty tactics again Baron Bullard had Xavier up for the suplex the superplex off the top rope and what happened Xavier rush with the eye gouge and then the rush shower but you know as usual proves my point every time if he's so picture perfect why has he got to resort to dirty tactics but anyway, next matchup. First off, Zane Dawson. Zane the crap stain Dawson. See, God, your your stupidity knows no bounds, does it? Now you're mistreating women. Well, rest assured, your little mistreatment of Chastity Taylor. That's not going to go unpunched. See, I thought you were going to get your, uh, what you deserve in your match with Trey G. And yes, Aaron Varnum, you were right as far as, uh, the biker guy being on Midnight Mayhem before. For your information, his name is Thunder. And yes, he did go against Cowboy Cletus Bass in a Santa Claus match. That's right. He won that match. Beat Cletus Bass, and Cletus Bass had to wear the Santa suit and do the Cupid Shuffle. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> man, all I can say is I thought Thunder was going to be unbiased as the guest referee, but, uh, Thunder, man, you had to, res man, Trey G had the match won. And you didn't count one, two, three like you were supposed to? I swear. You're beginning to be a disappointment. But anyway there, Grandpa. Let's move off you. Um, you know... Zane... Then again, when I do think about it... Zane, you did get what you deserve... Corey Etzel. You see, you keep knocking on the devil's door, Zane, and eventually somebody's going to answer you. And this time you've been throwing Corey Etzel's name around too much. You've thrown his name around too much, and now look what happened. He finally showed up to beat the living crap out of you. And you know, I can't wait till the, a fully sanctioned match when he beats you like a redhead step youngin son that's all I'm gonna say about that because see 
you ain't even worth my time of even mentioning. But Corey Etzel, Danger C, I hope to see you beat the living crap out of that dirty daggone Dawson. <laughs>